Rocket engines might not always make headlines, but they are truly the unsung heroes of space exploration. Without these engineering marvels, we'd be quite literally stuck on the ground. While Starship often takes the spotlight as the next big leap in commercial spaceflight, the Raptor engine itself is an equally groundbreaking achievement. In today's episode of Alpha Tech, we'll dive into just how far Raptor engine development has come and explore the potential limits for the next generations of this incredible engine. So far, we've only known about the Raptor 1, 2, and 3. However, as Starship continues to develop, its Raptor engines will undoubtedly need to reach new power levels. According to info confirmed by SpaceX, Starship V2 will be equipped with Raptor version 3 engines, the latest version SpaceX is currently making. But what about Starship V3? What engines will it have? Starship V3 is a spacecraft that SpaceX plans to build significantly larger than V1 and V2. The future Starship V3 will stand about 25 meters taller than V2 and be able to carry over 200 tons into orbit in a fully reusable mode. Although there is currently no official timeline for the massive Starship V3's operational debut, prototype Starship V2 units are already getting constructed and set to keep Starbase busy in the coming year, 2025. Therefore, it won't be long before Starship V3 is unveiled. The question we could focus on now is what kind of Raptor engine SpaceX will choose for Starship V3. Could it be Raptor 3? With a height increase of approximately 20%, it's clear that Starship V3 uses 33 Raptor V3 engines. The thrust efficiency might not improve much compared to V2, suggesting that V3 will either need a new engine or an increased number of engines to achieve its goals. Let's first consider the new engine that we might speculate for Starship V3. V3 is being developed not just to carry more tons of payload into space, but also reduce the number of refueling flights needed for long-distance journeys to the Moon and Mars. Generally, when the Super Heavy booster launches Starship's second stage beyond Earth's atmosphere, it expends a significant portion of fuel. It still needs to use the remaining fuel to burn for landing, so increasing Starship size and Raptor engine thrust essentially means the second stage of Starship can be pushed farther, saving fuel. This also makes payload cost to space cheaper. According to Elon, he confirmed that the launch cost to Starship 3 in the future would be lower than SpaceX's original Falcon 1 rocket, priced at around $10 million, thanks to complete reusability. He estimated that each Starship launch could reach as low as 2 to 3 million. These are sort of unthinkable numbers, he said. Nobody ever thought this was possible, but we're not breaking any physics to achieve this. Of course, to accomplish this, SpaceX and Elon need a more powerful engine. For those who may have missed this critical detail, in August, SpaceX released a range of specs for the latest Raptor 3 hardware, appearing for the first time. However, SpaceX's chief engineer, Elon Musk, hinted in a comment about an even newer engine he called the Raptor 3X. If the Raptor 3 has a thrust of 280 tons, the Raptor 3X is expected to produce up to 300 tons of thrust, nearly half the thrust of the legendary F1 engine on the Saturn V, demonstrating its formidable potential. The Raptor 3X's thrust-to-weight ratio exceeds 200, meaning that for every unit of engine mass, Raptor 3 generates 200 units of thrust. A high thrust-to-weight ratio increases rocket efficiency by giving more power without increasing engine mass. The ultimate goal is to achieve 10,000 tons of thrust at liftoff, which is essential for heavy lift missions and deep space exploration. This aligns with the data on Starship V3 in a slide presented by Elon to SpaceX employees in April this year. There's more to discover with the Raptor 3X. If Specific Impulse, ISP, is an area where the Raptor 3 shows promise, then Raptor 3 boasts a Specific Impulse of 350 seconds, higher than Raptor 2 at 347 seconds, and greater than the BE-4 at 310 seconds and RD-180 at 311 seconds. For the Raptor 3X, the ISP is predicted to increase by up to 5 seconds over time. While this may seem minor, in rocket engineering, such improvements can significantly impact performance. ISP is a crucial measure of rocket engine efficiency expressed in seconds, representing the thrust generated per unit of fuel flow, essentially measuring how long a kilogram of propellant can produce a new ton of thrust. Undoubtedly, if SpaceX uses 33 Raptor 3X engines for Starship V3, it would make perfect sense. But why aren't these called Raptor 4? Do you know? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Your guess might just be the answer that SpaceX's top engineers are contemplating and planning. Personally, I think SpaceX hasn't named the Raptor 3X as Raptor 4 because they genuinely want to create a new type of Raptor down the road, distinct from previous Raptors. 
This means that the Raptor 3X might just be a prototype, an upgraded version of Raptor 3, rather than a truly new version. All this highlights the unending innovation in SpaceX. Of course, innovation won't stop with these Raptor versions. Future upgrades will further optimize Starship, making it a historic milestone in rocketry. Let's not forget another speculation for Starship V3, increasing the number of Raptor engines. According to an environmental impact report submitted by SpaceX for launching 44 Starship flights at LC-39I, published by the FAA in July, SpaceX proposed Starship launches configured with up to 35 Raptor engines for Super Heavy. This has led to speculation SpaceX may indeed continue using Raptor 3 engines for Starship V3. Rather than using more powerful Raptor engines, SpaceX might decide to increase the number of engines to boost the rocket's overall thrust. This is entirely reasonable and likely since Raptor 3 is actively being produced and tested at McGregor's testing site. The research and development of this new engine has yielded some solid results, and once SpaceX publicly unveiled Raptor 3, they began mass production to accelerate testing. It won't be long before Raptor 3 is proudly installed underneath Starship rockets. Besides this time advantage, Raptor 3 is an upgraded rocket engine achieved in a way that not everyone can replicate. In August, the first image of Raptor 3 was revealed by SpaceX, drawing admiration from the space enthusiast community. Even just by the appearance, Raptor 3 is pretty remarkable. You can see that most flanges and distribution tubes on the initial version of Raptor 3 have been simplified, and it doesn't require any heat or fire-resistant shielding. This has helped to reduce the engine's induced mass. Induced mass is a term that refers to the additional components required to support and integrate the engine beyond the engine itself. This includes structural supports, plumbing, and other ancillary systems. Minimizing induced mass is critical because it allows for greater payload capacity, improves the rocket's overall efficiency, and enables more of the vehicle's mass to be allocated to fuel or payload. By using these figures provided by SpaceX, we can calculate that the induced mass of the Raptor 1, 2, and 3 by subtracting the engine mass from the engine plus vehicle side commodities and hardware mass. Therefore, the induced mass of Raptor 1 is 1,548 kilograms, the induced mass of Raptor 2, 1,245 kg, and finally the induced mass of Raptor 3 is 195 kilos. You see, it's unbelievable that this number has decreased so drastically. So, the induced mass of Raptor 3 has been reduced by over 87% compared to the induced mass of Raptor 1, showcasing the absolute refinement and streamlining of the Raptor engine by SpaceX's engineers. Raptor 3 has a thrust of 280 tons, more than 20% higher than Raptor 2, while its overall mass is nearly cut in half. Incredible! For comparison, the engine closest to Raptor using a staged combustion cycle with methane and oxygen is the BE-4 engine, which generates 250 tons of thrust. Raptor 3 notably surpasses other commonly used rocket engines like the RS-25 with 190 tons of thrust and the RD-180 that has two combustion chambers. However, perhaps most intriguingly, Elon stated that the Raptor 3 is getting close to the limit of known physics, implying this engine is pushing the boundaries of current propulsion technology in several areas. That's material science, developing materials that can withstand the extreme temperatures and pressures inside the engine. Combustion efficiency, optimizing the fuel oxidizer mixture and combustion process to extract maximum energy. Cooling systems, managing the high temps generated during operation without compromising performance. And nozzle design, optimizing the expansion ratio and shape for maximum thrust in various atmospheric conditions. After all, we can see that launching Raptor 3 alone isn't enough. There's also Raptor 3X and Raptor 4 to consider. But while Raptor 3X and Raptor 4 remain future advancements, the current Raptor 3 is already the most powerful rocket engine in the world. I'm really looking forward to seeing multiple Raptor 3s installed on a V2 prototype, with Starship V3 featuring a booster that can generate 10,000 tons of thrust, better aligned with what Elon and SpaceX have proposed for Raptor 3X rather than Raptor 3. All of these developments are being driven by SpaceX's rapid iteration and continuous improvement methodology, and their full focus on gathering data and implementing upgrades for each new version. And I'm certain that Elon, along with a whole SpaceX team, feels a ton of pride when reflecting on the development journey of Starship as a whole and the Raptor engine in particular. Since debuting in 2016, Raptor has undergone a series of continuous enhancements, progressively getting more powerful and efficient in each iteration. SpaceX's unwavering commitment to pushing the boundaries of rocket technology is evident throughout the development journey of the Raptor engine.
The initial iteration, Raptor 1, served as a pioneering testbed for innovative concepts. Its successful tests in 2020 marked a pivotal moment in the advancement of rocket engine technology, laying the foundation for subsequent developments. Building upon the success of Raptor 1, SpaceX introduced the Raptor 2 engine, which boasted increased thrust and chamber pressure, thereby enhancing overall efficiency and performance. This iteration represented a significant step forward in the evolution of the Raptor engine. In May 2023, SpaceX unveiled the Raptor 3 engine, showcasing remarkable results during its inaugural tests. While not the final version, Raptor 3 represents a substantial leap forward in engine development, featuring enhancements in performance efficiency and overall capability. The iterative improvements to the Raptor engine underscore SpaceX's dedication to innovation and continuous improvement as they strive to redefine the possibilities of space exploration. With each iteration, the Raptor engine brings humanity one step closer to realizing the ambitious goals of interplanetary travel and colonization. The introduction of the Raptor 3 engine marks a significant advancement by eliminating the need for a heat shield, resulting in a simpler yet more integrated design. Despite its seemingly stripped-down appearance, Raptor 3 incorporates intricate features such as integral cooling channels and secondary plumbing, addressing complexities while enhancing ease of integration, performance, and reliability. While its construction posed challenges, Raptor 3 promises improved functionality, reduced mass, and heightened dependability. Looking ahead to the next generation of Raptor engines, possibly Raptor 3X or even Raptor 4, SpaceX aims to push the boundaries further by achieving even greater thrust and reliability, signaling potential advancements in rocket propulsion systems. This is likely to fuel much speculation around future iterations of the Raptor engine. Let's wait and see how SpaceX will continue moving forward. And that's all for today's episode. Thank you for joining us and see you next time.